That's fine. Well, we're, Which we're, is... we're missing a lot of context here because we're still relatively early on. Yeah. Um, this is a replay, so we're exploring corners of this thing that we didn't see the first time in the demo. Yep. We're going to get a wow. big reveal later that actually ties all the contextual elements together. That would be awesome. And it's going to come up, and I promise you, but you're going to have to give us at least a few more minutes to explore this particular area. If nothing else, because we're about to find a new sword. Uh, I don't know where you found it, to be honest. You honestly hand it to me. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. I was just, he, he took the controller from him! He took the controller! The cardinal sin of gaming! Right out of his hand! <laughs> that's fine. I don't know where you found it. So uh, that's it's fine. right here in this little corner. Oh, yeah, the king of kings! Oh, I thought you found it, like, on the other side of the... Okay. Oh, is it just a better sword? It literally is just a better sword. Yep. Nice. That said, well, well the better sword does better damage. There's also a better hammer. The better hammer is awesome. The better hammer is pretty hilarious. Is it squeakier? No, it's yes. uh, squeakiest. It's also very rainbowy. It's, Ooh, oh, oh, rainbow. you're gonna love the hammer. It's good. It's good. It's good. By the way, it's X to jump. Yeah, the I world know, wanderer. It's not a circle to jump. See, here's the other thing. Yeah. Is here's the other thing. Is you're saying there's not like a lot. Wait, of did the gold things for you to... respawn? No. no. Oh, this is a different stack of the exact yeah. same yeah. assets. Yes, assets. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Sorry, it's just okay. Yeah, good, buddy. Here's the here's thing. Here's the thing: people buy a bunch of the same looking forks for their houses. <laughs> I'm not sure you're aware of this. <laughs> they we also happen to it. In, they also happen to enjoy a single brand of alcohol as well. Yeah, All Uncle Wendell. Here's the here's the, here's the thing I wanted. That's just a weird fork, though. Is that two forks? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is yeah. two it's forks two, overlapping. Yeah. Fork okay, sticks. here's the thing about it as well. Um, I think this we're seeing textual elements in this room even though the game isn't feeding us narrative, which is something that um, uh, people like Zelani Stewart help me understand. Um, I mean, like, look at this room. We see we're, we're playing as a child in this gigantic room, you know, and we're smaller, we're, sm we're smaller than we would be, but if an adult is playing this game, they have to kind of exaggerate the smallness of the child to really communicate how small the room, or rather how large the room feels to the context of the child. We're also seeing a child's play things, uh, which are fragile and manipulable, stuck on top of piles of things, uh, on, stuck on top of piles of adult magazines, adult books, adult beverages, literally, that are, not, that are themselves not movable, that are themselves immovable. Um, and we have to, and, and our lives are kind of dependent on these, you know, like our interests in our lives as the main character, as, as living vicariously through the main character, are dependent on these interests, so to speak. Okay, we're, we're, we're okay. Kind of built, we're kind of built around these structures. We're also just getting implications. We're also getting textual implications here that are inherently interesting, such as the idea that a child is making play spaces out of bottles of alcohol. You oh, know, you got because it, you got nobody it. is supervising them or something like that. You know? Someone needs to watch <laughs> this kid. Which is interesting when we consider the fact that we know that the child, that this, that this is this child's house, and we know that this child is a prince who's the son of a king. Oh, hit the ball. Hit the ball, though. Oh, oh, you want me to hit the ball? I want you to hit the ball. Oh, oh, I'll hit the ball. Wait, how do I, how do I <laughs> love the idea. Hit the ball. Someone needs to watch this kid. Wait, wait, wait. wait. He's having That's dreams. He's having dreams that oh, are an interior that. decorator's <laughs> L space. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to stage out, this out, house. Oh, fuck, no. Swing. Don't ah. You gotta, dis you gotta, dis you gotta take out of it. Disengage. You gotta take enemies out first. You gotta let it go. Yep. Let, let it go. Dude. Just you gotta let go of all of your childhood fantasies. Stop dealing with the nightmares. You Just let go. Oh, oh, deal with. You gotta the let go. Play with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta play ball before you can play with the ball. Wait, wait, wait. What? what? Time to play the game. <laughs> it's about to go off. Check Hit it out. before it does. Check this out. Oh wow! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> we get what to do that? it again. Oh, good. There's it. another one over here. There's was... a lot more. <laughs> oh, hey, another gift. I missed this oh. one. What is this? Oh, thunderbolts. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. All right. Cool. Hit hey. the ball. Hit the ball. Wait. Woo -hoo -hoo. Boom! Boom! <laughs> 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 so there's also the other thing is that there are a lot of empty playful interactions that are kind of pointless uh but are meant but are just themselves meant to be playful which are supposed to help us not necessarily role play but empathize with the experience of the child because we find this fun and you assume that they find this fun <laughs> yes 
We're, except it, it's not forcing us to find it fun in the same way that the kid does. God dang, I knew there was a reason we brought you here, but this does help contextualize this a lot more. And we never talked about just how expressive this space was. It's very expressive. Yeah, and I'm it is. super into it. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Just how big and empty it is. By the way, and how it's another ball over there. Vaguely filled with destructible children's toys. And that the things that Two aren't left. destructible are all adult are things. Are the immovable adult objects, yeah. Like these cups. Uh, yeah, you can't those, do anything to if them. If those blocks were movable, those cups ideally should be movable, but they're not. Because in the child's imagination, they're, they're something that is not movable. And this is why you need to read Death of the Author, people. I landed in between the chair! Hey! Touchdown! Woo! Swish. Nailed it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Re-rolling re bars. Swish! <laughs> Re-rolling bars. Three-pointer! <laughs> from Doom Town! <laughs> is it the shoes? <laughs> All right, so there are two things, two very important things that we need to get on this map. Boom, Shallow Shaska. What? Go ahead. <laughs> two important things. <laughs> <laughs> two important things! What is it, QB? We need soccer balls. And we what? need other hammers. Oh. Essentially. I'm going to go for the other hammer first because I think that... El well, actually, no. Solon has been dying for big, meaty textual stuff. So I'm yeah. going to try and find soccer balls first. Yeah. What? <laughs> we are getting there's... big, meaty balls. Here's, here's the question. some big, meaty balls <laughs> so, to... Solon. Solon. Yes. Yeah, what, what's, what's what, happening? Okay. What is the purpose of a soccer ball uh, to a child? Or is, what is the purpose of a sports ball? Sports ball. Purpose is socialization with peers. A good start. Good start. Okay. Wow. That. Wow. That's, that's, that's what I, w I would say is that there's got to be there's a relationship. You are you use a sports ball to create relationships with other people. Maybe we should have asked this a bit sooner because that's actually a really good answer. For what's gonna happen? <laughs> because because you because so you swish are, you already understand what narrative element a a, a that that balls play in children's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh no! Oh no! That sentence. Uh, Let's roll that tape back one moment. Roll that sweet bean footage. So you know the role you that balls the role, play. You understand the role that in uh, children's sporting lives. utilities play in children's <laughs> lives. My old favorite sports utensil. Okay, so let's read through the narrative of what does <laughs> Carbuncle say to us. Remember when your dad bought you that ball you wanted? This is my Carbuncle voice. It made you so happy, but what you wanted most was for him to play with you. Thanks, Carbuncle. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Oh, yeah. sad Chocobo. Choked out Chocobo. I really Fight hope, your nightmares. I really hope that combat did not interrupt that. I think it did. Oh. Hit it again. Oh, that's killer. It better work. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, maybe hit the, hit the soccer balls again. Oh, no. I think we ruined it. Did we ruin it? You ruined it! How the fuck? You ruined it! You had to go play with your nightmares. Ugh. Wow. Uh, so what was the point? What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> Get out of this video game. Oh. Wow, they are mad. Well. You ruined something good, apparently. You ruined something so amazing. Jump. Oh, Jump higher. You also ruined that by destroying the crate. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That blows. Can so, yes. I just reset the room somehow? Double good. Double good job with that. I'm going to go see if I can reset the room somehow. <laughs> Something unappeared in the dream space. If not, then we're just going to have to explain the entire thing because it... <sighs> well, I'm really fucking sorry that happened, but... um, It's okay. It's all your fault anyways. Woo! 